Welcome to another episode of Peace Elite. This. Hold on. <laughs> I, mean, I can't. I can't. Go ahead, man. Get Ooh. this shit over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Episode 236. Whoa. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Welcome to an episode, another episode of Please Delete This Whoa. in the Boom. <laughs> juicy mouth. Mm. <laughs> juicy mouth. It's coming, it coming up. <laughs> I had too much going on in my mouth. I bet you pause. did. Oh, welcome to another episode of Please Delete This in the building. We have Darren. Bim. Genevieve. Hey. What's the haps, chaps? What's the haps, chaps? Hmm. Z. What the guant? Darren, where'd you get that Game of Thrones looking thing? What? In his hand. Where? What is Sorry? that? What is it? Uh, oh, that's it's a uh, it's for an electrical box, put on the back side to cover your wire hole and crimp it. Oh wow! It's like the box, and you put it on the side. You put three wires through, and then you oh, crimp and it puts it all together. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. What was you working on? Good question. I don't remember. <laughs> He's put his locks together. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, you know, <laughs> gotta, I gotta hold it in place somehow. <laughs> um, you just own that, like, you just, yeah, there's we, um, actually, I was I was doing all the face plates in the kitchen and the dining room. Oh, okay, okay, I was covering them all up properly. Bim, do you know anything about crown molding to a certain extent? Um, so I was placing the tile, and the crown molding where the vent is mm-hmm. was never finished. Mm-hmm. So okay. I just it's just missing two pieces. So I've been trying to figure out how to cut those two pieces to fit uh, uh, well, the angle that's there. Buy boards long enough for you to trial and error. Oh, uh, I have, <laughs> I have, I have <laughs> some boards that you know. Okay, but I, all my trials have failed miserably. That, really? Yeah. So here's what I'm doing. All. Yo, I'm with you because with the deck miter cuts mm-hmm. to do the 45 degree angle and meet. Uh, yeah. Uh, Even if you think you got it perfect and you uh, put them together, there's still like the guys gaps. Who did ours didn't get them right. Yeah, it's like uh, a thing. Jen. But with crown I, molding is is weirder. It's upside down. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and, and, and and out. Yes, yeah. there's a, it's called a spring angle. I did like a deep dive into this. So uh, the the thing I reverted to, so I didn't waste material. Mm-hmm. I got a piece of paper and and uh, something sharp and just cut oh. my best into that shape. And then laid it, and then made a cut, mm. and and it worked. But it, I was, I'm just nervous because I don't want to make mess up. And I have to buy more. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. Yeah, but try try the paper thing. Try I will. Paper. I definitely will. Um, how's the weekends? It's good, man. My bro was here. Oh yeah. yeah I've been to catch up with you guys, but yeah, it was quick. Oh. It was quick. Oh man. He's good. Oh yeah, he's good. He's yeah. good. Came just in time to help me offload everything in the backyard, so I already uh, yeah. emptied out. Oh, yay. Is the dumpster still there? No, no, I thought you were good. Pim. You said you put it in your trash. Never mind, Pim. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> That's not what I, I didn't say. I would have put it in my trash. I said, I have it in the trash can, so when you tell me you're ready, oh, I can just bring them to you. Play man in trash can for the trash. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. It's okay. Then we're looking at the trash can, I'm like, I don't want to be a bother to him. Oh, but I could have what he said he's going to do it this week. But hey, okay. He's busy. Yeah, I'm like, damn, man. All right, well, Darren's good, so I guess. <laughs> Take yeah. the shit away. Oh, God. It's all, all right, good, bro. No, yeah. It's all good. Bro was helpful. A cautionary tale and how men don't communicate. Hey, oh, hey, hey, terrible. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> terrible. Hey. Terrible. Terrible. We communicate just fine. <laughs> um, hung out with the guys. We had all the dads over at Kay's house. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Hang out. Dylan was with us. Yay. Mm-hmm. And I sat back like, oh, my goodness. These are all the guys that were there when this little guy's running around. Oh. And he... Ugh, Ah, uh, been a good feeling. Yeah, and then Jada, um, Maribel's daughter, a couple years in college. Look at that. Like, man, look at what is this? It's amazing. <laughs> how bizarre. Bing, 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 bing. Jen, how was your weekend, my dear? I think it was good. You mm. think? Yeah, I don't remember what I did. Every time. Every time. Sure, remember now. I wasn't ready because I last week we didn't do it, so I didn't like. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're skipping that now. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I hope they don't ask. I don't know. I can't. Well, but this weekend is Juneteenth celebration in Providence. In, indeed. Kelly Price come down. Mm-hmm. What, th- what songs do you think she's gonna do? I mean, I don't know what songs do you do. You can, do you as we lay. It's not really right. Juneteenth. Right? <laughs> Juneteenth. <laughs> Wait. So the when's the event? I Saturday. think it's Saturday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I think she's coming Saturday, or maybe she's coming oh, Sunday. Damn, I'm gonna miss it. Damn. Where you we going? going? We going to Florida because uh, the homie Danny in Florida. Oh, the one that got you to the game? Yeah, his, uh, his pops passed. Oh, yeah, oh man. Yeah. So Sorry to hear. Slide down there quick and uh, oh. pop back up. I forgot that it was this weekend. 
Damn. We're doing more important things. Damn, 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 damn. <clears throat> um, she can't do the joint she has with <laughs> Ronald Isley. She, you know, isn't she holy <laughs> now? Holy? Oh, she might be holy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, that'd be... Mm, oh. Mm. I love Kelly Price, but if you don't do the... You know, the ones we care about. <laughs> That's a little messed up. That's a little messed up. That's a little messed up. She's going to get up there and do the black national yeah. anthem. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. But, like, all her songs are, like, songs you just kind of chill to, so. Yeah, they're they going to I can't hide what I feel inside, boy. You don't remember that, Joe. That was mm-hmm. the Diddy era. She ain't going to do that with the bounce. See? And then the other ones were talking about men cheating and stuff. You have to sing those songs. You have to. Yeah, but yeah. then they're going to cut the mood because there might be like people there who are Not like cheating. around people who got cheated yeah. on. I know what I'm signing up for if I go to see Kelly Price. It's an experience, good or bad. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's going to sound it's good. good or bad. It's going to sound great. Oh, man. But she, mm, mm. you can't do church songs only. That's crazy. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, wow, we just wait. I've done it in a good gospel song. I yeah, know we it. know. You be, you be gospel. I know it. Yeah. He got to catch me out the day where I'm like remembering <laughs> the other day, not like a month ago. Me and the girls were just sitting around, and I was like singing um his eyes on the sparrow. Darren, why? <laughs> why? why? I've been to church in years. I have no reason for that song to be in my head. Uh, maybe it, maybe it's, it's telling you you should go to church. I should. Mm. Yeah, I'd be thinking about you not going to church, folk. I'm like, damn, you get like an extra day to just hang out. <laughs> <laughs> now, real talk, still to this day, since I was a kid, I'm like, damn, y'all really get like a day to like, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why yeah. people don't go. Because <laughs> you got to make a choice. It's a tough one. Being a Christian is dumb. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, don't do wow. That. <laughs> I, I want to hang out. I want to <laughs> sleep late. And that's why I like a gig on a Saturday. I'm like, damn, I don't get to sleep like good. You know what I'm saying? You, you still. Yeah. I need it, Darren. I, also, I, I, I get it. I'm a crazy person. I get it. Because... <laughs> Not me. Nah, man. But that's crazy. Y'all enjoy that day. My you bad. know what I'm saying? It's Mad hours. It's a great day. <laughs> My yeah. bad. Sunday's a really Ooh. nice day. That's when you do the double pancakes. That's when I make the breakfast. <laughs> 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 the mad time on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> They're not double pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> They're just pancakes. <laughs> Are they, John? <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling better now? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Boy, it was all up in my chest. Oh, man. I had um, to burp, guys. This past weekend, um, on Friday, I did a, a DJ to Sweet Sixteen for Albert. Oh, Albert's daughter. dope, dope, dope! And um, it was it was really a good time. And what was amazing to see, and you know, we rarely see it. <clears throat> these young kids, you know, they want their music, but they're also rocking to like everything for sure. Yep. And so they gave me a list to run off of, and they um they wanted um, some old school stuff too, which was you know so. I threw a Montel Jordan in there, and some Poison, and they're Poison's like, "Poison's the worst song to play around children." We were children. I know that doesn't make the song okay. <laughs> I we, mean, it's just a conversation I had recently with someone. Explain. You know who Ice Spice is? <laughs> no, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> like that, put in my butt. That, like, that's the kind of stuff they say. They just say it. I know. Poison is subliminal. They don't even care. I don't know. It's not <laughs> subliminal. It's like, compared really, to this stuff. You never really think about it. Is it is it Poison or Doomy? Doomy's crazy. It's Doomy. Doomy. Sorry, I'm, I apologize. Doomy's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Doomy. Now, Doomy's crazy. You play it. Yeah. <laughs> even, it's just, it's, even the beats do. Boom. <laughs> 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 underage, sir. Ew. No, because we're talking about it with, with uh, our friends. Because at an event for their kids, they were playing that, and they were just like talking about how cringy it was. Because like, now uh-huh. they're adults listening to it, going, <laughs> mm, "Yes." <laughs> Wait, oh do, remind me. Of the, doesn't he say something about condom? No condom. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And those were kids, so I wasn't talking about the sixteen-year-olds. I was like, "That's the worst thing to play around kids." Oh, oh they, yes, they yes. were like ten-year-olds. Oh, that's terrible. Yes. <laughs> oh dear, no, because they that's don't. Th- that's terrible. Yeah, that's awful. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> no, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> they actually wanted to. Um, oh, it made me so happy to bring the song in. Um, Craig Davis. Oh, that's David, your song. David, David, David. Which one? Um, f- um, Film in seven days. Seven days. Ah. Oh, yes. oh man. I was <laughs> Original drink. <laughs> Come on. Ah, <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. ah yeah. Jen. Drake said, I can run with this you one. You are. <laughs> Drake is a swindler. <laughs> he is a swindler. Drake was like, let me see what hasn't been done in a while. <laughs> 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 Aha. 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 Wait, wait, ain't no. Anybody else doing this R&B? No? No. 
put it right in my bag. Oh, my bag. But it was a good gig, and um, was really excited to do it. And I did so. You know, been with DJing. We're looking for. I don't know about you. I look for like that person. That's like my benchmark. Like, okay, I know, mm. I know, I'm doing well because this person is moving or singing. Right, whatever. Right, right. They also had photo booth running, so I had the girls working the photo booth for me. And I, I forgot what I was doing, but I was running through some new. And I went to old, and I went back to new. And they some somebody said they wanted before I let go. And I did that, and I ran from that to Beyonce's before I let go. So I'm going all over the place. And Alexis comes from behind me, and she's like, "Yo, Dad." You and your bag tonight. Ooh. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Dad, you going crazy tonight. I said, Oh dear. My my college daughter loves this. Ooh. And like they tell me like I, you know, they like what I was playing and stuff, but she was like, Yo, you you're killing it tonight. She went out of her way to come over to you. Right. Yeah. I, I, felt, I felt good. You should. At that I point mean, you just flip yeah. off the <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that means a lot, you know, from the kids because you yeah. know that they mean it. Yeah, like they don't yeah. have to. They didn't, they didn't have no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh um, man. So that felt good. Um, and then Saturday we had another photo booth running that I, I had to run up to New York for oh. Gigi's birthday. So the girls actually ran the photo booth on their own, which was a huge wow. thing that Business I trusted them man. with. Yeah, cool. and they did well. Mm. They did very well. I gave, I paid them handsomely. Nice. They were very, very happy with. It. Oh, because they didn't know how much they were getting at the cut. Oh, I told him up front. Okay, like, okay. yo, this is what I'm charging. You guys run it, set it up, break it down. Um, here's your bigger. They gave him a much bigger cut Hell than yeah. usual. That's and they nice. were like, yo, we balling, yo. We ball. <laughs> I'm about this to buy these sneakers. Funny. Yeah, they're so funny. But they did they did well. Nice. No problems with it. Um, and then we ran up to New York for a surprise birthday party for Gigi. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. And um, that was that was also fun. Did you do it for me? I did. No, you I didn't. Did. I did. You? Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean it. I did. <laughs> did you really? She didn't notice, but I did. Oh, okay, okay. There were so many people around. I, I had like just like three dollars. Like, oh, bib. <laughs> <laughs> and she just. <laughs> yes, too. That's a friend. <laughs> no, it is. I guess he committed. Yo, yeah, man. Even I forgot you asked him. That. She, she came whole, to slap me next. I, time. I, I said, "Oh yeah," and I was like, "G G G G." And she's like, well. <laughs> and she just kept talking. I was like, all right. I didn't tell any. I didn't tell Clarabelle. I didn't tell anybody. If anybody who- was watching, <laughs> if that's what you're about to say, yes. No, no, no. I was going to say, for anyone who missed last week's episode, how old is she? Gigi's turn? turning 80. <laughs> and this man threw $3. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have 80. No, thank you. He's like, I didn't have 80. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I, I, I didn't have an $80 bill on me. Oh, my $80 bill. <laughs> That's so lazy. Oh not even four twenties. He said an $80 bill. I have no money. <laughs> I'm broke. He said, I would not throw four twenties. It got to be an $80 bill. Oh, shit. I said, oh, shoot. Bim asked me to do something. Oh, and I was like, one, two, three. What? <laughs> GG. <laughs> you're a wild boy. Yeah, you're the best. <laughs> For you, my friend. Thank you so um, much. But that was a great weekend. We spent it up in New York. Oh we hung out at our uncle's house. The boys went to the pool all day oh, Sunday. Oh, they love it over there. Oh, huh? they love it up there. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it was a great weekend. We came home late. Yeah. Me and the wife had a good rousing chat on the way home love about it. everything. Just us, life, our relationship, our our upcoming child. Hey, man, I'm still super excited for. So, how weird is that? Like you getting the jitters a little bit, or you just like, come on now? No, I'm I want it. I'm ready. Oh, come, please, Hell come yeah. on. Um, rub the belly for good luck every Ooh. day and talk and <laughs> she boop it's so fun lovely so, yeah. another dude sir mm. man hmm. god bless anyway what are we talking about this week oh there's been things going on in the news oh tell us Jen. local news I hope yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do that to me <laughs> don't do that to me can we talk about PVD Fest first I'm sad do we oh yeah! First? I what was gonna you? do this one real quick. What's okay, that? but you could do you could do. No, that. no, no, no! Go ahead, John. You're you, you're good at at tempo. Okay. <clears throat> so now I can't find the words to the article. I don't want to watch it, the video. Look, I knew she wasn't prepared. That's why I did that there. Mm. I was prepared. You threw me off, bro. Oh, stop it! <laughs> All right, go ahead. PVD fest it up. And then right, right, in the, right in the middle of our story. <laughs> oh, so anyway, like I was looking up earlier. And so, yeah, um, well <laughs> so <laughs> is that the whole story? You haven't done that in a while. Uh, so, um, PVD Fest, yes, for those um, not in Rhode Island, PVD Fest is a time of year where most of us look forward to. Um, they take to the streets, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday events. 
where local artists and musicians take the streets, take the stage. And um, it's really a, a time where all of Rhode Island comes together. is drinking in the streets. is partying in the streets. Young and old alike. <clears throat> and um, the city puts it on. It's usually like in June or yep. July? June. June. It's usually like the last weekend of June. Yeah, like. It's uh, a pride weekend and then. Yeah, Pity it's Fest. all around the same time, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> and so um, it's really like a, uh, it's become a really nice event um, that people come out in drones for. And typically, um, the main day you want to be out is Saturday. Um, they have like, I don't know what blockage they take over, but I know they have like one big main stage where whatever act is up there. And then you can find, you know, walk around, go bar to bar. Yeah, it's all like drinks. downtown mm -hmm. Kennedy Plaza. <clears throat> and they have uh, smaller stages with mm -hmm. DJs and other local acts. And, you know, it's people all around. And it's really a good time. I don't like being around people. And I actually enjoy it. Yes. I actually enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so that was coming up until it was announced that the PVD Fest has moved. They announced the moving earlier in the spring, but it was so early that people couldn't really react to it. It was just like, okay. Mm. Mm. Um, so they moved it from, from June to September. Oh, we love being outside in September rather than June. <laughs> and when school's in session. When th that's literally like the first week in school, the first week of school. And on top of that, it's moved to a different location. Has that been disclosed? I don't think so, but it'll be indoors, mm. right? Uh, no, there was a pedestrian bridge. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was near um, water. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like near the water fire It's near water fire. So then, actually, they, yeah. they're, they're teaming up a water fire to do one night. So where that's they, why, one of the reasons why people <clears> are pissed off. Like, you're just trying to turn PVD Fest into water fire. Right. And that's weird. That's not cool. Yeah, water right. fire is its own thing. Its own thing. Wow. Uh, also, they've taken away the, the ability to drink during, in the street. Yeah, no open containers, yep. no bars outside. Yep. yep. So basically the whole... It's like if you take... I'm going to give you this car, but I'm going to take the tires. Yep. I'm going to take the seats, the steering wheel, yep. the windshield. R.I.P. PVD Fest. That's Literally. It. That's Literally. it. That's it. Done. And, so. <clears throat> and the, I think I read that the mayor is doing it to help the local businesses uh, in that area, if I read it correctly. Help them do what? <laughs> So, as, I as, if, as if they need help. Do you know how much business a lot of those uh, businesses right around downtown Providence mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the PVD Fest took place for that weekend? They made a killing. Right. And it's, killing. It's, not like, it's not like they moved it somewhere completely different. It's over here now. Yeah, yeah it's like far enough to where those yeah. businesses won't. Actually, they, they'll lose business. Yeah, they, it's over there. Right. Oh, if man. anything, it's helping out. Um, they said the hotels in that area. I think oh, that was something, boy. That was something I read that it was like. Oh, I think I see hotel. what's happening. Oh. Yeah. All the uh, fancy high rises and stuff. Yes, like it's right over there now. If you're gonna pay for that view, yeah, I want to see stuff yes. happening mm. in front of me. Right. Ooh. Yeah. It's funny because <clears throat> with everything going on in that part of downtown or whatever, it's it, every time we go down there, it's like, yo, everything's being done to attract people to the city, mm -hmm. a certain type of people. Because, like you said, these high rises they're building. They're small, because I look them up. I go to the websites. I look at the apartments. They're small apartments that cost a lot of money. They're very New Yorkish. Yeah. Three, four thousand dollars for a studio that's like the size of a hotel room. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, okay, so <coughs> where are you going to get the people to live here? And so then you put the Trader Joe's, you got this. And I'm like, okay, they're, they're trying to make it to attract a certain... The people's with money, yo. But like, that means you're trying to push out the people without the money. Yeah, sure. Literally. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. And so, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. They also said that this change was made with no, like, conversation with anybody else. Like, it was, like, a very big surprise to a lot of groups of people Ouch. involved. Well, he said that he did it because of the budget. Something about the fiscal year, something, something. That's why he pushed it to September. Mm. So there's this article. I haven't read it yet. That's how I get down, right? Mm. <laughs> but I saw it where it says he def he's defending <clears throat> his changes to PVDFS. What's this guy's name again? Brett Smiley. Brett Smiley. When was he a mayor? I don't know. He, just, he, just, he, just, he just got elected. Like just, just. Yeah, the last, the last, the last election just passed. Okay, okay. Um, so, okay, we'll back up a little bit. So, during that election, it was him, a yeah. white man. There was a candidate who was a Hispanic man, and then Nerva La Fortune is a black woman. Mm -hmm. And so... Haitian black woman. Yes. And so, I remember 
during the election time being like, okay, they did the debate, cool, cool, cool. Those two dudes look like they're polished politicians. She looks like just a regular person. I'm going to vote for her, though, Mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, even if things were all equal, she's going to have the same interests in mind that i do right whereas this guy he looks like he's in the interest of money Mm. or you know like he's got some backing and and people he needs to answer to whereas she would be answering to the people that live in the city right even the hispanic man that's kind of like how i felt about it unfortunately she didn't win and i was trying to be optimistic and i said okay maybe he's not gonna be so drastic maybe he'll still you know what i'm saying but this, this stuff he's been doing has started before even PVD Fest. I remember the first news story that I heard that kind of made me raise my eyebrows when they were saying that the property taxes in Providence are going way up, so the taxes are going to go up. You did mention that. But then the highest increases are going to be in the south side, and on the east side, they're going to stay flat. Oh. Yeah, and I'm like... Oh, come on. Right. So that was the first thing that made my ears perk up, like, okay, that's hmm. dumb. And then... um. What was the next thing? Oh, then his his crackdown on the ATVs and dirt bikes. Like, I get oh, it. Oh, that was him. Yeah, ATVs and dirt bikes are annoying. I get it. They're scary sometimes. You, you know, you don't want to hit nobody. But at the end of the day, for you to be the mayor of a city that has so many things need, need to be done, and the first thing you do is spend money on a task force, and then you're, you're crushing ATVs, and then you're putting it on the news. It's like, yeah. fam, like, what are you... The schools are being... Close. So that was all him. So what about the um those lanes, the bike lanes and stuff? Was that him too? No. That was right that was, before he came. Oh, that okay. was before him. Well, that's dumb whoever did that. <clears throat> but with this guy now, I see the angle. It's just unfortunate because it's not the providence that we know. Right. Um, <clears throat> there was a boom with real estate and a lot of money came into the city via taxes and whatnot. <clears throat> and they're moving and shaking. They're trying to get it going. They're trying to have that Boston effect so they can just have a bunch of money coming in. A lot of it via real estate, because I don't know what businesses are popping up. Amazon's coming to Johnston, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. But outside of that, I, stuff is just going to get more expensive. And the people who actually work here, I and I sound like that guy, but it's, it's true. That there's not enough money. You can't make enough of that money here to sustain that kind of um, expense. And that's what they're trying to force, right? Like, keep building that stuff downtown. It's I don't get it. No, it's weird. It's weird, weird. Then there was something else. So he's already been irritating. He's a business man. Oh, then there was the thing last week. They were talking about BRU that he wants to get decibel meters to give to the police so they can crack down on loud music, especially like in the Broad Street Club area. Yeah. I was well, like, there was one. Did you see the one about uh, during COVID when people were having a party and it was so loud that... The water. Oh, they can hear it in East Providence, whatever. It, yeah. But when when I, because now that I live there, when I look at it, I'm like, that's not that far. But still, that's crazy. I bought this house to be away from y'all. <laughs> and <I could laughs> but still you did still a very bad there. job. <laughs> and I could still. You are one point eight miles away. Yeah, no, nah, that's uh. Now I'm with that. Man. I, don't, I don't like noise. Yeah, but they're not gonna use it for noise that goes over the water. They're gonna use it for like people at their house, us on our porch. Now that's fine <laughs> as long as it's uh, within the noise ordinance. I would suppose. Oh, just look at Jen. Look at Jen. Look at Jen. Providence <laughs> is loud, bro. Providence I mean, it's, is it's loud. True. It's just that's part of the, yeah. the, the nature of Providence. Yeah. I mean, my mom came to visit the other day mm-hmm. and she was sitting in the living room. And she was like, it sounds like New York out here. It's just Spanish music everywhere. <laughs> and that's the sound of Providence. <laughs> that's the sound of Providence. But now what do you say to the person who pay 450000 for their house? You should Other than calling them a dummy. Yeah, and that's, and you're that's, gonna say, and that's, "Hey, I'm a taxpayer," and, and that's why I see the angle. Right. Like, you want to move right. people out of this area, right. or if you're gonna have people move in and assimilate to the area, you want them to feel comfortable. Right. And so that's because but this that's is, not normal. But this <laughs> like, is a of, <laughs> there's a difference of feeling comfortable and feeling like catered to. Right. We're changing everything to make you comfortable. Well, no, no. Right. So now again, you say catered to. What is an allowable time for loud music? To no, there's not talking about time. No, no, but cater to in what regard? Because like, uh, there's still a noise ordinance, right? Mm. You good until this time. Right, but the noise ordinance is already intact. It's not like it's a new ordinance. Wait, so what are you saying? This is like just this is, regular throughout the day? Just just regular. I don't know what no. times. I don't know what times, yeah. but like if you're giving, if you're getting decibel meters yeah. or whatever, you're going to have to justify the cost by making sure they get used make sure those tickets get given out so they yeah. can get the revenue back so they're gonna have to use it at- <clears throat> oh no no i don't deny that but yeah. is if if they say after 10 11 p.m keep the music down 
I've DJ mad parties where they're like, but yo. But it's already like that. Yeah, and they can just pull up and say, you know, turn the music down or whatever. But for right. you to have an actual gun where you're. I done told y'all. I get it. $500,000. I see it. I look at music. Yeah. If somebody's paying that, you have to know the And that's what I'm saying. So, you have to know. You ha- so it's like, we <clears> want <throat> these people to feel comfortable. So therefore, we've got to make sure we're enforcing these we, rules. We want the money to stay coming in. You uh, hey culture and blah blah blah. They, what's that doing? They ain't putting no my money in my pocket. And that's then that's yeah. the part that makes me sad. That area became because valuable. Providence is culture, like not just yeah. one area. Of Providence, all of Providence mm, has right. different cultures. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's like saying, oh well, on Federal Hill, we can't have all these people eating in restaurants on on the street. Have you been in New York lately? No. Culture dead. Yeah. Chicago. That's, that's what I'm afraid culture of. Culture dead. It's happening. It's we already there. That's stupid. It's there. Yeah. The money came in. Ugh. I saw yo Chicago. It's so weird because it's like you're good up until here. Vegan places that, and then somebody got shot there mm-hmm. across the block last week. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like that place in Night the uh, with the wa- uh, salt water and uh, mm. fresh water meat. Mm. Like how you can just see it. Mm. Oh, okay. It's legit like that. That's what Providence is like. And that's is they're just gonna keep inching it. Yeah, they're gonna keep inching it. Ugh. And and it's funny. So we we've been talking about this inching. Like okay. They can inch in all directions, but right. we don't think they can take over Broad Street. And no. th- it's, we're like, Broad Street's gonna have a, it's gonna have to take a lot, and it's a lot's happening. Like you said, the bike lanes, yeah, that's a big it's deal. It's so weird. It's Ugh. so weird. So annoying. And then so then if you tell Broad Street turn your music down, the clubs or whatever, you you tell Broad Street turn your music down. That's like I think, unheard of. I think Broad Street stays from a certain extent. It's a very small area right. between there and where it hits Cranston. It's, it's very tight. It's so small. That's going to stay as it and is. That's, what that's we, why it focused to downtown now. Right. So I think it kind of pushed as much as it could in that direction. They're going to leave most of that. But they're, so now it's kind of like you're pushing all these people. Like that stretch of brush you where, you know, there's a lot of people who are just without homes or whatever. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're just like letting that area do that. Like, okay, yeah. here, you you take this block mm-hmm. and then we'll we'll work over here somewhere. They'll do it. <laughs> and that's why people keep saying, like, unless folks own stuff, you can't stop that from happening. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or if you do own it and you bought that house for 175000 and somebody says they'll come and give you four hundred, dollars It's just going to happen. All right, you can take it. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, peace. This is what happens. It's just going to happen. It like, even valuable. standard liquor still being closed, which is like, okay, mm-hmm. if, you was a, if you bought it to be a liquor store, you would open by now. All right. Right, so what are they about to turn that into? My guess is a Starbucks just because of the Dunkin' across the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know where you'd fit a drive through. But that's that's a solid building, and that was a solid business in the area. I mean, yeah, liquor store, whatever, but it's the only one, which is crazy. You know how far we have to go to get liquor now? <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you. And so <laughs> then the, across the street, the, the tattoo place, mm-hmm. that old rundown building, they just sold that for almost 140 grand. Yeah. And now they're fixing it. And then they have two houses that they built. It's a lot. It's a lot going the on. The area where the temple was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, if they Wait don't fix... Wait until somebody snatches that I'm up? Like, I'm like, if they don't fix that temple quick... Look, the hospital's right there. The hospital's you know how right they... There. I know. Yeah, y'all playing, man. Listen, playing. we've been talking about this for years, bro. Like, mm-hmm. so... Mm. Tell me, look, we hey, can't stop it. The ball's rolling. You better get some money while you can. Or or vote or or something. Do vote f- to do what? <laughs> Tell me now. <laughs> vote to do what? There we been voting. <laughs> look, she said she voted for the black lady. What happened? And what happened? And what happened? <laughs> See, what are we doing? Get money, man. That's all these people. Just ignore it and get money. It's crazy. And kiss your babies. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find what you wanted to talk about? Nope. You? Yeah. So you go to hell, Ben. <laughs> I'm sorry. But now I can't find it again. <laughs> because I wasn't ready. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yo, Bib. I got it. Okay. So I was driving home and I heard this. <coughs> you know, Harvard, the college. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I was trying to prepare for the rest th- of the sentence. I think I just read this headline. Harvard morgue manager charged with selling body parts. Son. Hmm. Son. This is on BBC, so this is making worldwide news. Son. But. But what, babe? But what? I know people who've stolen things from their job. (coughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> I know he's not looking at me. <laughs> I'm not looking anywhere. Those, Darren, don't incriminate yourself. I'm just saying. I know people who've stolen from their job. I don't want to. So if there's a, a, an excess of something at a job, and you're like, man, they going to miss this. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> that's no. what I'm saying. No, it's the ethics Yo, of stealing man body parts. Yo, there's, there's, there's ethics. Right? There's What's ethics. the ethical part? Because there's it's, it's, some, it's somebody. And you know what they do with it, right? They, they, they sell it. So I know they use it at the schools for blah blah blah. Like they, they donated their body to science. Yes, yes, yes. So it's no longer an ethical thing because they already just they just ah, but man, do man, whatever. Man, man, with man. It. I donated my body so that other people can learn from me. Not so this idiot. Somebody gonna learn how to make some money. Uh, <laughs> Somebody gonna learn something. Mm. You've Listen. given your body up to science. You don't want to take it with you to the spirit realm. You're the idiot. I said realm. Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. up. And also spirit realm. <laughs> Watching but, <laughs> but, but like, yo, is yo, man, this man, I mean, there's okay. mad at these. I can, I can get a couple off. So, wait, I get it. <laughs> I, I, you <laughs> know why? Oh my god, when he puts it like that, like, no, like, if like he was, was just was, chopping mm. off limbs, that's crazy. You just flipping them, nah, but, but if you got like, a box, I work there, it's like mad of them <laughs> in the freezer. There's mad of them. Look, there's, I swear, there's, to, look, there's like 30 more. <laughs> there's, there's no labels, <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't even look, I'm juggling it. Which one's which? You don't even know, you don't even know. <laughs> Who's gonna catch up? Who's gonna check up on me? Jeez. I mean, when you put it like that, Ben. I'm just saying. I can tell you most of the reasons why <laughs> someone <laughs> would take from their job is because it's an excess <laughs> and that nobody's monitoring them. <laughs> That's the reason I see it in my book. <laughs> I'm gonna finish reading because <laughs> you guys are just going worse and worse. I didn't. I didn't think you guys could make the story worse than it already was. You know who we are. <laughs> Challenging something. Oh, the God. manager of Harvard Medical School's morgue and three others have been charged with buying and selling stolen human remains. Stop laughing. Buying baby. and selling. That's no. what I'm trying to say. Like money okay. is easy. no, 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 no. Now, money now, is... now they're purchasing. Oh, so, so let's get to it. Okay. According to the indictment, he and his wife. You did this with your wife. Oh man. boy. <laughs> I mean, who else gonna keep it low? <laughs> Sold boy. body parts to buyers in Pennsylvania and Massachusetts. <laughs> the scheme allegedly ran from 2018 to 2021. Oh, Dang. they made so much money. Uh. <laughs> Prosecutors allege he used his position as the manager of the anatomical gifts program at Harvard Medical School to dismember cadavers donated for medical research. Harvard students use donated bodies to study and practice medical procedures. Mm -hmm. When the school finishes using the cadaver, they are often cremated and the remains returned to the families. Okay, I get it. Or buried in the university's medical cemetery. Uh, that. They just mix them up and was, burn them. They're just waiting for the right call. They're burning it. Hey, ma'am. He and his wife are accused of harvesting, selling, and shipping body parts from these donated cadavers instead. Shipping. At times, this, this it gets gross. At times, he allowed others to enter the morgue and examine cadavers to choose what to purchase. Oh, dear. Uh, Katrina McLean of Salem, Massachusetts, and Joshua Taylor of West Lawn, Pennsylvania, allegedly bought body parts. According to the charting statement, in 2020, Miss McLean purchased dissected faces for $600. I want to throw up. That she intended to have t- tanned into leather. <gasps> wow. Uh, uh, rich people are disgusting. They're so gross. Uh, money is evil, yo. Miss oh, McLean Lord. is the owner of a store called Cat's Creepy oh. Creations. You have a whole store. Social media accounts for the business show she specialized in upcycling dolls into gothic, oh, blood-soaked dear. horror novelties. I didn't know somebody that would do the cadaver stuff with animals and the bones and yeah. yeah. Hmm. The indictment alleges she sold and stored human remains at the store. Mr. Taylor allegedly made 39 payments to Miss Lodge for stolen body parts over the course of four years, totally more than 37000 That's it's it. It's going to be way more than that. That's they, it. They, they, they didn't find 37, the money. 37000 yeah. That's not worth they it. They didn't find the money. Yeah. The indictment included a grim reference to a PayPal, PayPal memo for a purchase of $1,000 that allegedly read head number seven. Yo, fam, through PayPal? And you put the comment? <laughs> In the what? No one, no one's paying attention. <laughs> what? No one. Well, he has to know which one I'm shipping for his for his records. <laughs> no one's how how am I supposed to keep track? How, how am I supposed to get my spreadsheet together if I don't? <laughs> wait, notes. wait. Uh, help me wrap my head around this. <laughs> how am I supposed? To... <laughs> <laughs> That's better than I ate. <laughs> Man, that was wow. Man, there we go. Wow. <laughs> what does that spreadsheet even look like? <laughs> 
So are they paying taxes? Is that why they gotta keep good records? <laughs> Literally, that's the only reason why they got caught. <laughs> oh my god! Because they're not paying taxes. <sighs> or they were. Or they like, were. <laughs> they were like, wait, what? Why do you need to keep a record of any of this? Oh, for taxes. That's the only reason. Oh, not me. <laughs> People are crazy. People are nuts. And at that Harvard, is, no less. That's well, why they no, got the good bodies. And that's what people the money are. But you would think, don't you make enough money? To do what? At, He's just a manager job. of the bodies. And so but still, they, they make money. I'm not going to say he makes a lot of money, but... No, I mean, he makes money, but people are greedy. Agree, yeah, it's greed. You, did you guys finish Atlanta? No. Nah. But oh. you guys saw the, the episode in Paris where, where they were cooking the hands. Mm. Yes, yes. It just makes me think of what are people doing with those things when they purchase. It's repulsive. Yeah. But I understand why you would sell them. Because I ain't doing it. it. I ain't, ain't going to get it from somewhere, baby. It's like crap. It's either this or I throw it in the oh. trash. I don't know what that was. Darren? It was either that or throw it in if the trash. The lights cut off from screaming. Cause Why? Because your basement is scary. There's only one exit. <laughs> I put my phone in my hand. It's like my flashlight. There's only one exit. <laughs> only one way in, one, out, one way out. Is there another exit? No. No so, bulkhead exit. <laughs> so when I first heard it, I thought they were buying like organs and trying to like ship them people who needed organs. And I'm like, that's very scary and dangerous because you have to keep organs under certain yeah, conditions. Yeah, I don't support that. Yeah. So that's why I didn't yeah. support it because I was like, but this is ridiculous. This is just. <laughs> I want to make a human leather mask. That is <laughs> gross. So like, what are we buying in these streets? Ew. People are buying some stuff, man. At the black market, I don't want to know. That's why I stay home. Battlebots. That's it. Keep it simple. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid. Speaking of keeping it simple, stupid, um, y'all uh, shared with us the um, the KG Pier, uh, Paul, Pierce. Paul Pierce. Oh boy, did we talk about that yet? No. no. Really. What a train wreck. Uh, and, and this is coming from somebody who doesn't even like watch basketball, who doesn't care like that. But I know KG. I know a little bit about poor Paul Pierce. Sorry. Pierre Paul. I know Pierre Paul, that's why. Of course you do. Hey, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> There's only one PP that I reference. <laughs> And that's Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul. I don't I'm recognize not saying Paul Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> he said his name backwards, and I don't like it. <laughs> You're stupid. You're so stupid. <laughs> I'm so mad you turned Paul Pierce Nation, yo. I'm so mad about it. I'm going to wear heads forward. His name will be Pierre Paul to me. <laughs> I declare it. <laughs> no, I can't. I remember watching the the... the <sighs> <laughs> the interview or the stream I should say Jeez. and I kept looking at it and I'm like I don't know if I'm wrong in saying this but KG being the voice of reason doesn't sound like, like yeah like sounds weird I was like, anything I remember, is possible I, I, I was like I remember he was I was like he's he's the aggressive right he's usually the aggressive saying some wild right is that him okay that was good right babe amazing <laughs> oh man Yo, I was so embarrassed watching that. Like, yo. I was like, yo, this is so cringy. So it's like watching Orlando Brown things. I can't watch oh. any of this stuff. It's like, mm, nah. I can't pray watch for him. Stuff. Oh my goodness! But this guy, man. But the thing with Paul Pierce, it took a while for me to cringe for him, right? Because at first I'm like, oh, he's just funny. Because after he lost his job at ESPN, mm-hmm. um, that was already cringy to me, by the way. Yeah, and he tried to say, you know, like this is what I choose to do. I own cannabis companies blah blah blah. i want to live my life as i am if my job can't accept me and he made it seem like you know this is a conscious decision he made and he's gonna live with it and he's cool with it and he's gonna be good so i'm like all right that's how you if that's your stance you just want to be regular paul from the block then cool so when i first watched it i'm like oh that's already dumb right it's (laughs) It's dumb but i'm like you know sometimes you you say you know what how much money do i really need to make i'm comfortable let me have fun now you know who's done that and then put strippers on their Instagram so, and done well after no one. <laughs> no one. Never, ever. But I was I was like, maybe, you know, he's got to figure it out. I don't know. And so at first, I'm like, oh, he's kind of funny. Like, just him as a guy. He's a funny guy. But then things, like, started going and going, and I'm like, oh, boy. Man. And then the Stephen A. Smith. That was, that was brilliant. <clears throat> brilliant. Bars. I didn't watch all of it. Yeah, he basically said what we needed somebody to say. Like, Paul, please get it together. And and one we thing, love you. and one thing that he mentioned about Paul Pierce when he was on the other podcast, um, and he had said something man, uh, along the lines of, you know, the hood was rocking with it, and Stephen A. made reference that I'm tired of people hanging on this stupid decision making and saying, well, the hood got me. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. want, you already got money, so you want people to champion your bad decisions when some of them are in a not great position already, or like I don't understand what that means. 
you do something dumb, well, the hood got me. Well, that was Disney. They want me to be clean. Yo, you accepted the job. Mm -hmm. And then you broke the rules, and then you're making excuses for your dumb behavior. And then you're on KG's joint when he's being professional. Mm -hmm. Very professional. Talking about how you got prostitutes. It's nasty. I hate guys like that. And I don't care. Say what you want. It's corny to me. You're mad corny. You're, you're just a, another corny dude with money. Yeah. Corny. Ah. I don't know who yeah, this my This is my rent a girl. What are you talking? What are you? Yeah. Ew. No, who's impressed by this? Yep. Yeah. Yo, my watch. You look at my. Ew. Ew. Who's impressed by this? It's nasty. Who are you impressing? And does. And Drake. what is their. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> and what is their opinion matter that, that high? Right. And anybody that hangs with him is a weirdo, too. Like, like, can you imagine being around that energy, Darren? No. Yo, yo, Darren, you'll check out my watch. Me, yo, is it okay if I bring my girlfriend for the day over to your family? Huh? huh? <laughs> like, what is this? What are you talking about? Or even, even if not to my family, to my, like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's nasty. It's weird. It's Ugh. weird. I don't know. So hopefully he gets it together. But if he is on drugs, get well. <laughs> or whatever. But if mm. that's you, just, I don't know, stay away from my TV, man. Mm. It's nasty. <clears throat> You're a nasty man, PP. PP. <laughs> pee -pee. Pure, pure Paul. <laughs> no, he's no Pierre Paul. <laughs> he, is, he is. He is. He would never not be able to say that. <laughs> Whenever you, you see him, me up. <laughs> next time you see my TV, I'm like, oh, Pierre Paul. Paul, damn it. You mess me up, man. Speaking of basketball, the finals are finally over, yay. Yo, you know what happened? <laughs> what day? It was two, Monday. Hmm. Yeah, it was Monday. I Ooh. dropped my brother off at the airport. Mm hmm. It's game six? Five. Five. Game five. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch the game when I get home. Totally forgot. Woke up in the morning and said, oh, wow, hey, that's it's it. It's right? over. <laughs> it's over. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, Me that was today. quick. They did it. I thought it was going to be a sweep, but. <clears throat> and Joker could care less. He wants to go home. That guy is me. Yo. <laughs> Yo. He's there. <Darren. laughs> I think it was you who sent us the the interview. Um, mm -hmm. They did like, you know, after the press I game. I thought you put it, yeah. I could have it was you. <clears throat> after the press game, he was like, where's the break? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. I have to go home. <laughs> he, did, he did all of this. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, come on. Man. I said, that man is me. <laughs> yeah, he said He's something like, about. Oh, this overtime? Yeah, he said something about like, yeah. You know, I mean, like, not everybody likes your job. Yeah. I mean, if you're yeah. doing your line, but <laughs> I say, yo, <laughs> you don't care. Let this guy go home, man. And I thought about it, and I was like, damn, the other dudes are like, hey, yo, they love the game. He don't even play the game like like he loves it. He knows yeah. he's good at it. But it's like, ah, yeah, uh, uh, okay, I made the shot. All right, <laughs> uh, you won't shoot. Oh, uh, here, take the ball, man. Just score. I have to get home. <laughs> My food's getting cold. <laughs> it's getting cold. My ring is tied on my sneakers. Like, he wants to be home. Nah, it's, it's, you're right, because, like, even during the game, he doesn't look like he's ever upset. No. That something didn't work out in his favor. They were breaking down a play. <laughs> they show him open up top, and he's like this. Whoever got it is, like, dribbling, takes a wild shot, misses. And he doesn't go like, oh, he's nope. like... <laughs> you know, he's cool. He's <laughs> overly excited. He's no, ah, oh, man, he's clapping loud at... <laughs> I, I, I want to lose anyway, guys. Like, yeah, he's been trying to lose since like March, and they keep winning. And he's like, again, we doing this again? Literally, oh me. Two All right, fine. Ago. Let's just win. Uh, try to give him MVP. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, give it to him. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Imagine the Bulls are playing me. Thanks. It doesn't make um, the players that we know and love look silly though, <laughs> because like, y'all going crazy and it's for this game for money. Yo, this is a game for money. <laughs> like, you're already going to make your money. Right. And then, oh, so-and-so said this, and they're not giving me my calls. Mm. <laughs> That's why I can't play sports. <laughs> why do we care so much? Yeah. I tell you guys, you guys know I was playing basketball, like, at a rec league for a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was uh, I almost went, no, no, I don't think we started the pod yet. Mm. <laughs> it might have been just before it. Mm -hmm. oh, and so we dang. were playing. So, somebody at work was like, come on, Darren, you got to do it. You were doing some wild stuff Oh, man, the pod. that's you how I. singing? I, <laughs> just playing basketball? That's why I needed this pod, to, to help <laughs> ground me. <laughs> to <laughs> to literally ground Bim me. has church. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have this pod. You could just move these two hours to Sunday. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> so. The guy at work was like, I've been thinking about joining up at Teamworks. Um, you want? I'm like, no. I'd, <laughs> I'd rather not, to be honest with you. <laughs> mm -mm. 
<laughs> Everybody else do it. Uh-uh. Oh, no, I remember. It was Carter was just oh, born. Gosh. Just before Carter was born. Mm. Oh. And so I was like, all right, fine. He kept asking, kept asking. Cool. All right, cool. So our team was like average. Like, I, all I knew was like, yo, get on the basket, get the rebound, dish it out. Like, I don't even work that hard. Like, I'm not trying to do a lot. For whatever reason, we made it to like the final. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, really not because of me, by the way. No, I had to no, no. no. rebounding prowess. Like it was, it was like it was somebody was like, "I sub." I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like, <laughs> that is so funny. I'd like two, three minutes. Like, I'd be in there a little bit. I'd be looking at the side, like, "Yo, you want? Yeah, you want to come back in? Like, <laughs> Don't you want to play?" Ah, <laughs> uh, I bet. Right. <laughs> So I remember the, the finals, they were like, all right, we're in like third place. It was like four teams. It was like us. We called them the young kids because they were like a bunch of young kids who thought they were good, but they were like, they could have been a lot better, but they weren't really like managed well. You're going to be the old play. guy already. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, you know, if they played better as a team. Yo, man, you know, they, were really <laughs> they were good, but they were like, you know, the big guy taking threes for no, no whatever. <laughs> cool. So it was the young guys, us. We called them the alternate us, where it was like another team that was similar to us, but not us. Yeah, we understand alternate. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I yeah, know, but whatever. And, yeah, and, you describe what young guys mean. <laughs> uh, the young guys, you know, the 18. <laughs> you know, you know, kids that are 18. Let him tell his story, I don't let story, him. Though. I'm trying to get him to do it. No, no, I'm sorry. Like, Jen, okay. Jen is the, oh the, my the wife here that's like, yeah, yeah, come on. I want to go home. <laughs> And the gods. <laughs> and the last thing was the gods. So for whatever reason, the gods. the gods. They were just super nice. Okay. Uh, so we were playing. Team. Yeah. We beat the first team. Then we had to go against the young, it's the church. young cats. <laughs> Shut up. And I and and during that game, I was like, "Yo, we could lose here, and I'd be completely happy. <laughs> we could just go home." But everybody else on the team was like, "Yo, come on, we gotta do this. Come on." I was like, oh. <laughs> "Whatever." So. <clears throat> last minute one of them hits a three we win uh -huh. and we go to the finals and i'm like guys in my head i was like yo we're gonna lose like why are we why did we do all this effort to lose to them like miami heat right now oh boy we could have been like it's 10 30 <laughs> <laughs> i have a whole other hour of this matter of fact no the boston celtics because they could have just got swept Ooh, they want to win three they games wanna, they that's, fight. that's and crazy <laughs> and lose at home <laughs> Home. Are you <laughs> like crazy? We, we could have been chilling. People pay a lot of money for those seats, yo, for you to do that. Not even like a close game. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. That's Ooh. exactly how it felt. It's like, guys, why are we doing this? This is dumb. Ooh. The whole game I had to watch is just like lose. Like I knew we would. <laughs> like I, 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 I told him. I told him. Nah, they put me in. I was like, ah. <laughs> he's like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys are playing really well. <laughs> a ball go off a rebound. I'm like, mm. exactly. <laughs> not gonna... That's what they had you there for. You weren't you know, doing box it. Box Come on, Darren, hustle. <laughs> so you give a joint in the league. I really How do you do that. <laughs> what I running? He said, I no, no, man, so much running, Bim. He said, and they I, need, I need a sit down thing to do. Yo, they they literally care. Like they yeah. were like, all right, all right, let, let, okay, Darren, you go here. I gotta remember go plays? here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's yeah, break. I've heard about this Jefferson Boulevard League, though, so I know people take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's, it's like, like a trophy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like if you, I don't like, know whose house does a trophy go to. <clears throat> if you're if you're outside watching, the first time I was like there watching it, I was like, man, they run it fast. Like, <laughs> 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 they run it right now. Right? <laughs> it was like, oh, whoosh, like a gusty wind. I was like, oh man, they moving. <laughs> I said, this is this is not for me. This is not for me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, oh, let that man go home. Yeah, man, he just want to be home with his family, man. I was trying to look up if he had like wife and kids and stuff. He does, yeah. yeah. Okay, because I gotta understand it even more. Like, yo, yeah. just let that man go home. He ties his wedding ring into his, his sneakers. Oh, so the game. Yeah. Ouch. He's like out. on his sneaker? Yeah, like on the laces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, like, like inside his shoe. No, no. Oh, yeah, onto weird. his laces. That's so sweet. Yeah, that's very nice. Go, come on. Let him go home. You do that when you love your family. Mm. <laughs> you <move. laughs> It's funny because like, at the end of work, I'd be like, <clears throat> I really just want to go home. Fam. But I'm trying not to look too eager. Because <laughs> 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 we get up at five, right? And I'm like, if I'm packed up and it's 4.58, that looks kind of fucked up, right? So I'm trying to like slowly mm. put things 
away but not make too much noise <laughs> <laughs> so that when it's time to go I'm, i got much to pack i'm right, done right. for the day i'm just gonna put my laptop in this bag and go <laughs> and i, I would think about it, i'm like i wish somebody would ask me so i could tell them it's not personal with the job it's just that i really like my house yeah and i hate traffic does anybody else take off like right at five some of the guys leave early. Like it'd be like four twenty. Be like, all right, I'm done for today. And they just out. Oh, oh. You ain't but, at that comfort level. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm still my friend ninety days. I yeah. can't be doing that. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm part of the new crew. So I gotta. Yeah. You know what I mean. Got it. But sheesh. Yeah, that's why we make uh, home comfortable, yo. I like home. Oh, couch, comfy, TV, nice, surround sound. Speaking of nice, <laughs> surround sound. Speaking of nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sneeze, right? No. Oh. Cough with, uh, oh. Bless you anyway. Bless, bless you anyway. Blessing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's swatting blessings. <laughs> I just want to go home. Um, <clears throat> uh, speed of comfort, comfort homes. I'm put Stacy and Dennis in the forefront. They just mm. got this love sack couch. They got mm. one of those. Bim. The sex where you can move it. Not only that. Not only. I'm st- sorry, guys. I because the other Whoa. day. <clears throat> Not only that, it comes with um, you get a surround sound package and with in the, the, in the beast, <gasps> the base, dumb? the subwoofer is in the seat. What? So it's in the seat, and in the sides are the two speakers, <clears throat> and the sound bar is in front of you. And Watch so the movie. I, uh, so I helped them put it. So he, they're like, "All right, we got this. Can you help us put it together?" Cool. Me and Dennis, it's my man. My God. So we take a good s- Sunday, a couple hours to break it apart, set it all up. Shh. It's great. <clears throat> Something happened with the stupid sound bar, so they had to return to get a new one. But now that it's working all together, she she said to me the other day, Oh, I have to go out. Can you stay here? I need a plumber coming. Oh, cool. I sat there, Bim. <laughs> I said, This <laughs> is amazing. Man. It's Bim. Those love sex. I was like, baby, mm, mm, nah, it's never mind. expensive. <laughs> She's got the fridge. Oh <laughs> slow down. It's expensive. I said, let's <laughs> slow down, wife. <laughs> But that one with them love sex. Oh boy! Oh, oh wow. I, I, next year, mm. next year I really like. Hope it's a lot of better, y'all. You should do it. Do in a better one. place to make it, uh, that 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 investment. Yeah. That's actually mm. a good kind of couch for your living room. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Because we like to move the couches, and you know, in our house it's either big, five, seven, mm-hmm. twenty, like you know. But oh man, yeah, and nice deep cushions. Too. Oh yes. We um we just got different sofas, uh, <clears throat> big joint at Cray and Barrel, but a, a sectional for upstairs. And it's big enough for both of us to be laying flat and somebody else to be on it. Mm. And the deep cushions. Mm. But, but every time I'm on it, I'm like, ah, if we put a little bit more, <laughs> we could have did the love set. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go over there. Oh, man. Oh. Have, to the Garden City one? No, no, no to the house. Uh, to the oh, house. To the house. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Was, come on, man. I want to see <clears> it. Oh, man. Mm. And you can, and you know, you know, when you have technology, us guys, dad. Bro. When we got something like that's like cool, and we're like, you know, then I went over there, then I was like, sit, brother, sit, 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 and put something on. And I was like, I just heard like a quick, mm. he's like, ah, ah, uh, uh, Avengers. Are you kidding me? Bim. I was watching Rick and Morty. And I this was watching Rick and Morty because I, I haven't caught up on it, and I didn't recognize all the sounds mm-hmm. and music mm-hmm. and bass that mm-hmm. is in Rick and Morty. And I said, "This you were like in the episode. This <laughs> is amazing." I texted her right there and I said, "Anytime, oh my god, you need me." I can't even conceptualize. <clears throat> it's crazy. Hmm. It's crazy. And that's what's fun. That's why we stay home. Right. So oh imagine, and you got a love sack, and they're like, "We got a parade now." What? <laughs> <laughs> Watch this from home. Please. <laughs> I'm watching this from home. I'd much rather watch this in my house. Have any experience I can. You know how many times I've said I could go to the football game or or, <laughs> or I can stay home where it's not raining, snowing, cold, sleet. Get every angle. Yep. If it's boring, <laughs> I could just Look, <laughs> I could put a red zone on. Uh when you've been to one game, you've been to them all. <laughs> and then if you miss a play, <laughs> there's gonna be a replay. Uh have yeah. you been to a game trip? I've been to one preseason game at Gillette, and then I went to Dallas for a Cowboys Patriots. Oh, it's dope. Never been to a game, huh? Yeah, yeah. Huh. one. Well, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not some basketball games I like to go to. Football games. Football games. Mm. Let me clamor to go to those. <laughs> <laughs> but the indie experience was dope. I must say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Jen. Mm-hmm. Wheel of Fortune. He's calling it quits. Wow. 
Wow, I thought of you instantly. Do you know how many people sent me that? <laughs> I didn't even, I, at no point did I see it on my own, like, travels. <laughs> but it came to me <laughs> multiple times. And every time I pick up my phone, I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> like, that guy. That guy. I didn't reply to nobody. I just like, I know, man. <laughs> Damn. Okay. It's like two days later. Y'all still sending me this? I don't even know him like that. <laughs> Honestly, I watch Fe- Family Feud at like, 7 o'clock. Like, to the point where she don't care now. I don't even care. <laughs> Ain't nobody care about Pat. I care about Pat. I Sager. love Pat. <clears throat> Come on, Pat man. Mahogany. Ma- Pat, Pat Mahogany. Pat Mahogany, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Classic. 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 Indeed. Um, I wonder what Divine Favor thinks of this. <laughs> so what? He just said he's giving it up? 41st season will be the last. <clears throat> yeah. So when is that? This uh, upcoming season. Oh, okay. So one more year of Pat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But the, I don't know how far they record. So uh, he, so might, he might be done already. No, I'm saying the opposite. If he's starting to record the new season in September, that probably will give them enough episodes to run till at least next September. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we'll be seeing him a lot. Yeah. yeah. And the, um, yeah, that when I was a kid, I looked forward to Wheel of Fortune. I was too dumb for Jeopardy. <laughs> so I, I, I was there, man. It's, it's fun. It's like loud and wheels. <laughs> yeah. They play people hangman at school. Yeah. So, mm. Yeah, and it was like sensory overload. You went a car. It was fun. Um, and then lately, with him being all sassy and stuff, mm-hmm. like, ooh, what do we get when he retires? Ooh. ooh. Is he going to like do podcasts and give us the dirt? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're thinking now. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like, who's going to gonna be the new host? But no, no, no. No, yeah. oh, no. It's going to be somebody that makes you go, oh, why? I want the dirt. No, I, I'm looking forward to his last few episodes, but oh. he just don't give a damn. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Vanna! The senior writer's episodes. <laughs> just, just, Vanna! Vanna! Oh! You! Uh, yeah, stink, bitch. <laughs> Why don't you put some pants on? Why don't you put some pants on? <laughs> bird legs. You know, there's some wild shit to wear. <laughs> 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 he better not tell her that. <laughs> he better not come for Vanna. <laughs> you know Vanna has her own brand of yarn. Yeah, what? Well, what? <laughs> I gotta look it up. Jen, why do you know that? Yo, thank you, <laughs> B. <laughs> What's on your algorithm? <laughs> because they said it on the episode where she was a contestant with Ken Jennings and. and oh, Blossom. you watched that episode. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was talking about it. Oh, I thought you just like saw that happen. No, no, I went on Darren's Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yo, what should I watch? I don't even know what's on Hulu. Oh, and God. so um, I saw that pop up. I'm like, oh, Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Who's on it? Well, that's a weird episode tonight. So, yeah, anyway. So, you know how when the contestants come on, they got to tell about themselves, but it's Vanna White. Right. So, what she told about herself is that she has this yarn company. Um, yeah, that's her, her brand. Some probably people have sneakers. Successful too. Yeah. She probably. She knows the demographic. So, uh, are you sad about it though, Jen? But no, I'm happy for him. It's he, a good run. Yeah, it's a good run. 40, so, yeah. forty-one seasons or forty-one yeah. years? I think seasons. One and the same in that world, right? I don't think so. Less or more? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe less. Hmm. They do repeats oh, double, in the yeah, summer. That's true. <clears throat> that's true. Crazy. Huh? That is a good run though. Good for him. Good and for to them. be out of it before you know something happened to you, mm-hmm. you know, unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Vanna's gonna stay. Mm. Maybe Vanna be the new host. Mm. Nah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's a good host, but you know that'd be. Remember like that, a... that time when she hosted for like a little bit when he was in the hospital time. Mm. Yeah, I didn't hear rave reviews. No, about it was that. Yeah. It was like, oh, it's like you weren't paying attention. <laughs> it's like when uh, I don't know if y'all listen to uh, Howard Stern um, at mm. all before when he was popping. Here, man. Yeah, it was like when Robin would talk a lot. I was like, hey. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's yeah. Howard? Yeah, 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 all right. Back to the racism. All right, I got it. <laughs> it's okay, Robin. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> she was wild on there, man. She, like, opened her shirt and showed her bra one episode. She was oh, wild. she did? Yeah. yeah. Oh. She a big old, you know, old lady titties. <laughs> but she, <laughs> she, she, she was, like, turned that episode and went, wow. So what is this? Yeah. <laughs> Howard Stern was fire, bro. <laughs> Y'all didn't watch it? Right. I, I, I missed the, the Robin it's episode. Funny. That's why I'm weird. I used to love that shit when I was a kid. I only watched a few, but um, I didn't like that little that little Beetlejuice guy. Oh. <laughs> so scary. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. Right? It was so. 
Uh, <laughs> so I think if there's any reason I didn't watch that show was because of him. <laughs> Me too. And his stupidity. Oh like, okay, like, I don't, like, a lot of times I'd be like, yo, is he, is he being for real? Like, I hope this is, like, just a bit. Like, I really hope. Oh but the more God. I went on, it was like, yo, he's, like, really committed to this bit. Yeah. Of him being an absolute idiot. Bro, I be, li- I, like, I don't even know what I'm listening to hey, right uh, now. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Fast forward. Not we're doing this. <laughs> oh, yo, we're heard, right? Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, you, you for laid, listening, guys. You laid the groundwork. Oh Howard. God. <laughs> And that, that's, what, that's what I couldn't get over. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I feel that. Hey, what I color is that. orange? No, what color is a, a carrot? A carrot. Carrot. Uh, <laughs> carrot. <laughs> carrot. Like, like, like what? <laughs> Clarabo was so yeah, obsessed right. with that one clip. For, for all the dumb I she I think she was just like, oh, look, look at this dumb shit I found on the internet. And it was like him. <laughs> and it was just like, come on, man. Like, uh, oh, shoot. I can't. Uh, it's, uh, anyways. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> and more celebrity, celebrity dumbness. Everybody seems to be uh, in all the uproar about Khalees and Bill Murray dating. First of all, I love Bill Murray. I love Bill Murray as well. He's, I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan. Yeah, no, he's a great actor. No, seriously, he's the man. Yeah. Did he do stand-up comedy at all? Mm-hmm. Do you know? No, he's just no. funny. He's And he's always been that weird guy. Like, um, when they... Uh, I watched, like, the thing on Netflix where they talk about how Ghostbusters was made. Mm-hmm. He agreed to do the movie, but his personality was like, you just never knew if he was going to show up. So he's still that guy like where you'll just hear random stories. Bill Murray just popped up and walked in somebody's wedding. <laughs> or did a toast with a, people at a bar and then just disappeared. Like, he's just that guy. Mm. So the fact that that's the thing, I'm like, I dig it. Mm. I so dig it. They probably smoke wild weed. Mm. I love it. And they have fun. Yeah. Do, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, it's good. It's egg. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. What about, I don't understand why people are upset. About, not upset, but they're like, Because ah. it doesn't make sense. It, <laughs> And and that's why I like it because Bill Bill Murray don't make sense. She seems like she's super random too. See, so you know about Bill Murray. Most of us don't. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So no, it's just like right. what? But yeah. if, if you know he's random, it's yeah. like all right, well. Yeah, even with like the rosy picks now, his his role in Ant Man, the new one. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like huh? Yeah, but but it's like you could do I, that's him. I kind of equate him and not in the same like realm, but like come on mm, closer good. to um come on thanks, John. Thank you. Um, to uh, Robin Williams. I kind of put them like we not that regarded. not so like that they're almost like that you won't you don't know what you get from either one. Zany, zany is a really good word. I don't know if Robin was like that in real life though, was he? I, I'm not. I don't know Robin either. Not. If one either yeah. one of them was I, like that I didn't in real hear. Life. Yeah, I just heard on um, like uh, like how funny he was and stuff like that. But, but that's what I can see about Bill. But Bill's like legit, just random. Like mm-hmm. he'll just be in this other country. Some oh, uh, when the gentleman that was in Ghostbusters with him passed away. Um, they hadn't spoken in years. Mm. And then <laughs> Bill Murray went to the town that he lives, went to the uh, the police station and said, can you take me to his house? He didn't know where he lived. He just went to the police station and said, can you just bring me to his house? <laughs> and the police were like, sure. And they said, okay. And with police escort, he went to the house and spent time with him and he passed away a little after. Wow. But like, he's just, that's how he is. He's just random. Mm. So... Him and Khalees, I can see him just having a conversation. Hey, 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 do you want to come spend time with me? Cool, let's do it. Go ahead. I was like, hey. Yeah. Mazel tov. Yeah. Have fun. Uh, yeah. As long and, as you're and, happy. And what do we expect? I'm like, nobody's expecting them to get married. No. They're just having fun. I mean, who do we expect Khalees to be with? Well, that too, because again, she's a little out there, so. Caught out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. <laughs> but the jokes are funny. Oh, yeah. Give them to me, because I haven't seen because I don't like Bill Murray slander. So. Um, I don't think it was any slander, but it's just okay. like like jokes. Like I think Justin K said, "My insurer brings all the boys to the yard." Oh yes, yes, yes <laughs> you know yes, stuff yes. like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was on a down about something, and he was like, "Yeah, do what you gotta do." Khalees is with a Ghostbuster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I like all it. Right. It's fire. Yeah, was... <laughs> you need to tell him to stop because that guy is way too funny. He is good, man. His screenshot the other day Woo. just left me in stitches. Oh, oh. Which one with the with the ratchet set? Yes. Oh. Uh, Listeners, I apologize. You're probably like, who is he talking about? Jen's darling is freaking hilarious. So funny. <laughs> I don't even. The, the mean that they're not is okay. Like interaction with your son, and then <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it took a it took an insulting turn. <laughs> the thing is, he sent me that when it happened. I was at work and I was like, ha 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 ha, cool. 
And then it was like two days later. And then I go on Facebook and it said one minute ago he posted that. And I texted him and said, you posted that? He said, I had to. Like, you, you had two days to think That's about it? That's funny. That's, to say that about your kid's mother to your kid, hilarious. So funny. Every day. It's so funny. Such a lovable person. People, you should laugh more. You should so, laugh more. So then it's like, you know, it's five o'clock. I want to go home. Yeah. We're, it's fun there. He's going to make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go? I feel that. Been all's well in your home too, right? You, you, you laugh. Uh, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Mm, I, is it deck time? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, Bim. Next week. Next week. Oh. oh, we'll find time. But either way, the only thing I'm waiting on, I'm getting some trees removed. So I'm not doing the railings yet. But Okay. Ah. Oh. So your trees got the wisdom teeth taken out, but not you, huh? Not me. Mm-hmm. Hell no, because this ain't going to cause damage to the house. Imagine <laughs> I build that deck and then some stupid hurricane Bob oh. comes and destroys oh. all my hard work. Sell the house. Oh. Sell it. Sell my soul. <laughs> Seriously. I put a lot of work. It has to at least last two years. At least. <laughs> hurricane Bob. Yeah. It's little throwback. old, yeah. Mm. Let's go back. <laughs> it crushed the old. car in the backyard. That's why I remember that oh, wow. one. Mm-hmm. Um, we were talking before we walked in. We said we were oh, going to talk about yes. something. Um, it was the Beyonce album you were listening to. The Booby album, Janelle Monae's Naked album. So Darren, he pulls up <laughs> listening to uh, some some Renaissance Beyonce. Okay. And I actually listened to that album today. Oh, it's such a good album. So it was funny. I was like, oh, I've not been listening to Renaissance. <laughs> Man, makes you feel good. <laughs> so I get out the car, and Bim's just next to his car grooving. You know, he ain't worried about wasting gas because he don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> he just got the car playing. <laughs> well, not to have to worry about. <laughs> 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 it's fun. I, I just like, oh. The car's full. What's, 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 what's <laughs> just keep driving. A gas station? Ew. You guys store gas here? Mm. Okay. Sorry, Pleasant. <laughs> and so we're grooving. And I said, yeah, I was listening to that today because I listened to the Janelle Monet album first. And then it gives me the same kind of vibe. And he said, man, I thought the exact same thing. In fact, I said it out loud to the wife. And, and so, she agreed. Yeah. yeah no, it's, did, you, did you hear it? No, no, I got it. Yeah. Uh, it's Jeff? very sexy. Yeah, Ooh. it's no legit. The entire don't, album don't is drink, about sex. Don't drink wine and listen to that album unless Seriously. you're ready to get some huh, or I'm play a... with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always ready to do both of those things. <laughs> it's all sex. Do you see the cover of the album? When no. you open it up, oh. uh, she um, the cover of the album is her swimming under several legs underwater, uh, some male, some female, and she is coming out of the last person, and her shirt is actually open and her nipples are blurred. Oh, that's not what I was. Um, talking about she has an actual vinyl cover you know, oh I didn't see that you one. know how some vinyls you open it up like a book mm-hmm. oh that's it's when you open it there's like actual titties oh that's interesting oh, wow. let me see if I can find it for you mm, yeah. I found it so, so she went it? all the way but not, not this it's like it's this blurred I should say yeah she went uh, all the way with this album it's legit every song is about sex being sexy uh, playing it looks like it's a quick album yourself. too yes yeah 32 minutes a quickie a quickie bang, bang, bang. yeah okay tomorrow yeah, so it, gives, it oh, gave it that feel, but I kind of, it was, um, I'm a married woman. Why are you showing? I'm, <laughs> no, I'm a married woman, woman. See yes. how she messed me up? Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought you were talking about. Remind me of the 70s with that kind of vibe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Darren, you didn't see it? Oh, I, I saw see. it like a little one. Oh, dear. No. It's... Yeah, oh she dear. she's she's doing sexy now. I've wow. been watching it again. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Church on Wednesday. Yes, oh, Lord. Boy. See, baby, you have your Sunday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> My, my podcast nights. evenings. <laughs> podcast evenings. Oh, yeah. it was a it was a bit uh, too mm. one note for me though in terms of like at, legit every song was like that. So I get it. Mm. It's groovy, but it's like eh, you know, kind of need a, a little Changes shift. A little okay. But it definitely had that sequential song leading into the next song and little quick skit stuff and all of that. Uh, yeah. Because her other albums that I've listened to that I really liked, her last two, they do like an up and down right. type of thing. And they, they're a different vibe. But very sexy album. Mad sex. I like it. Well, sex with everybody. I like it even more. She just took that black and white zoot suit off and said, here I am. <laughs> Peed on it. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm a woman. I don't need this anymore. Oof. So interesting. <laughs> so interesting. <sighs> They say, go, don't sing that secular music. <laughs> it'll, it'll mess you up. I'll be fine. <laughs> Every movie did this exact same thing. I can handle it. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll, look at you. <laughs> she's now, literally look, naked. Look at you. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't breasts. come back up in this house. It's so interesting. Um, oh. One more time for the for the people in the back. Yeah. Um, 
What's that shirt say? It says pleasure. Is she wearing a shirt? (laughs) (laughs) Where you buy vinyl these days? (laughs) That's a good way to sell them. You want to go find out? It's a collector's item. Now I got to put that on our story. So anyway. you do. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, she did it. I got to support. Isn't that what they say? You happy. I happy. Thing. By the time anyone listens to this, the story will be gone, though, so I shouldn't. Nah, they're fine. Mm-hmm. Put it up. It's fine. <laughs> um, free the boobs. Uh-huh. Free the boobs. Um, uh, things happening this weekend is Pride Fest or Pride? Pride. Is it Pride Fest or just Pride? Pride. pride. Just Pride. Yeah. You DJing still, though? No, I'm not DJing it. No? No, no. no. But oh. I'm going to be there. Oh, okay, okay. I'll be working there. Working the event. Oh, the booth. No. Well... Yes. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't confirmed if we're doing booth or not, but they wanted to take this general help. Yeah, so, good person. Yeah, I don't know. You get to see all the fun stuff. Um, Juneteenth, once again, Miss Kelly Price. Yes. June There's going to be a comedy show. So, you know what? I should go on the... Um, also, for sorry. while just looking that up, uh, so we're telling you about these events happening in Providence downtown. So don't go driving Saturday evening and wonder why there's so much traffic, traffic downtown. And then go on your Facebook. We're and telling you oh now. Oh my God, there's so much traffic. There's Pride, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Juneteenth, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yikes. So Broad Street and downtown are going to be messes. Mm-hmm. Roger Williams Park, so mess. Be messes. You got to go somewhere over there, go through Elmwood, cut through the back way, come up. War calves, just don't go down broad and be like, Why is this happening? I'll get you one of them scooters, <laughs> all that, <laughs> but not one that looks like a dirt bike. No, goodness. So, there's a comedy show, I believe, on Friday. Yes, it's yeah. a ticketed event, $30. Then on Saturday, there's a Providence Black History Walking Tour, which is free. Um, then it's Youth Day, also free, but you have to RCP. Then Sunday is the big event with. Headliner Kelly Price. Hmm. And so is, isn't there like a DJ thing going on downtown? I saw that. Uh, I'm not sure. Over the weekend, yeah. Um, Wasn't it not the blend battle? No. Nah, something else. Uh, like another party, Juneteenth thing. Hmm. There's a few things going on all around downtown in Providence. So yes. get out there and enjoy. Enjoy. Since there's no PVD Fest. <laughs> so that's the other thing about the PVD Fest, having all these drastic changes. It's like no open containers, but will there be open containers at Pride? Will there be open containers? Of course there'll be open containers. Come on. Yeah, because they, on. It's, it's a block. That they, yeah, they they're, section They're blocking out. off, yeah. So you can buy drinks in there. That's what PVD Fest was. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh-huh. No. You, you, it's not like you could like just start walking up uh, North Main you know, with your, with your yeah, drink. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, it was with a confined area. There was trash yeah. receptacles for it. Yeah. There were vendors. You control it. It's contained. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> that one will be just fine. <laughs> Party on. Excellent. <laughs> Dude. Um, you, think you got something, Jen? I heard something on the way here about the Southern Baptist Church. No. Um, they're expelling... Churches down south that have female pastors or something. Oh, but I gotta find it because it was just kind of wild. I was listening to the news while I was driving up here. I Darren, oh, good. No, go ahead. Have you have you um, watched more episodes of Ted Lasso? No, none since those two. I'm sorry. I finally watched the last episode, Darren. Are you sad? Is it everything you the fear it would be? <laughs> this guy's an idiot. He's a bona fide nut. He's a knucklehead. <laughs> Let me he- tell you. <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. Was that you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I it sounded like the, the the intervention, but was that really you? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why are you crying? <laughs> and, uh, uh, thank you. And, and did you see? If you see, like, like the ten seconds before that starts, is the sun like? Why did you love me? <laughs> <laughs> Why he said something like that? Like I, you should know. 
But I love yeah, you. Yeah, and then the and guy did that. Did that. <laughs> he did that as a response. <laughs> there was a pause first. <laughs> yeah, because you saw it. Yeah, everybody yeah. saw it. Oh, shit. <laughs> there was a pause like <laughs> there was a pause like when a kid gets hit. <laughs> and they can't get the cry out. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Jad, you're spot on. That's, that's, that's like. spot oh, on. God. It's like they, their face oh. is pain. And you wonder, like, do I got to hit the oh. mute button? Do I hit the box? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Ted Lasso. <laughs> Sorry. Darren, that is one of the best shows that I've seen that's only three, uh, three seasons. Because... Legit, I was crying. Oh no! And then two seconds later, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "You're laughing." You're Legit. Laughing. Oh my goodness! Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. So good. Oh, I, I might rewatch it. it actually. I gotta run through it. So good, and he was definitive. I didn't know he like wrote it and like damn near oh. created it too. Like yeah? Sudeikis, yeah. Oh. And they well, just blow up. Uh, blew up. It was only supposed to be the two seasons. They said we need a third, please. Mm. One awards and stuff, but it's good. It's so good. That's awesome. Um, Jen's working through something. Mm-hmm. Um, before I get into the the church, Ooh. there's two things. Um, there's another event I need to to mention, so I'll come back to that when I pull up the information, so I don't mess it up. Two, um, eighty five South has a Netflix special mm-hmm. that is oh, yeah, debuting on that. Tuesday, which is a pretty big deal. Oh, that's pretty uh, cool. oh, like so they're they're a show. Yeah. Wow, that would production be ill. Yeah. Oh man. We, it's their show? Yeah, like, uh, like their stage. Like, not, oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like a comedy special. Well, they drink, they, they're comedy. Yeah. yeah. But, but just, uh, you know, yeah, still yeah, them. Netflix, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to see them do traditional stand-up. Nah. Well, Carlos is hilarious doing traditional stand-up. Yeah, but the three of them, I'd rather like what yeah. they do. Yeah. Too yeah. wild. When you see the With three cameras and angles yeah. and cuts to the crowd. And oh, it's going to be amazing. Money. Cause, I, mean, I mean, they have it on their own site, you but, know, their yeah, own show, but a Netflix is different. Like, that's a big deal. Yeah. Awesome. And um, so they're still releasing that, even with the tragedy that happened to um, DC's girl. Oh, strong man he is. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. And I kept seeing a thumbnail of a video floating around, but I couldn't watch it because I just refused to. But it was like, I guess him speaking at the funeral. I tried to watch a little bit of it, but I was, man, he, he, he is strong dude. Like, maybe he said it's okay to put that out, but that shouldn't even, like. Let the man have his moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, they may. I mean, even if I think we're different, like even if people say it's okay to record <clears throat> stuff here, I'm not gonna record. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna record. Mm. But, yeah. All right. So, those prayers, peace, yes. blessings. So the church thing. Mm-hmm. Southern Baptists say no to women pastors uphold expulsion of Saddleback Metal Church. Mm. So this is from NPR. Mm. Uh, the Southern Baptist Convention voted overwhelmingly Wednesday to uphold earlier decisions to expel two churches because they have women pastors. Wow. The decision came during the group's annual meeting in New Orleans. The SBC heard appeals by California Megachurch Saddleback and smaller church Fern Creek Baptist in Louisville, Kentucky. Saddleback Church ordained a woman as a campus pastor, and the Kentucky congregation has had a woman pastor, Reverend Linda Popham, for more than three decades. Wow. wow. Hey, they're a little late. <laughs> The SBC's 2000 Statement of Faith called Baptist Faith, the message asserts that only qualified men can serve as pastors, and the nearly 13,000 voters who are called messengers voted to uphold the church's removals. Mm. That's nasty. Isn't it terrible? If it was three days, I'm like, all right, you guys got to figure it out. But come on, decades. She's been a whole pastor for 30 years. Stop it. Stop it. During the floor debate in New Orleans, Papa argued that women should be allowed to serve as pastors and that she had been faithfully serving in churches since she was a teenager. She said that her congregation adhered to an earlier version of the Baptist faith message adopted in 1963. The version of the theological document does not exclude women from holding office of pastor. Huh. So, yeah. I can't believe that's a thing that's happening. Uh, well, I can. It's not going to go well for them. They, they'll end up uh, reversing. It's not going to go well. Really? No. Because they they were saying there's been a decline in... Um, the number of, yeah, number of people who yeah you I, don't go to church who are Southern Baptists. <laughs> it's not because the pastor's a woman, but if no no no, 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 no the because opposite. they because of the way they're acting people are going to leave the, the church. The pastor. Okay, you're going to chase away people from the church God. like women even yeah. more. Well, women people who are in support <laughs> like, of like women yeah. pastors, the people who were going to that church for right. those that's thirty their, years. That's their pastor. What are you doing? Yeah, just right. the whole thing is 
crazy. It's weird. They, and nothing broke when when they were doing it. So what, what are we doing? Mm, like, so bizarre. Yeah, that's that turns people away from the church. And it, and it, it's that's not God like. It's not. It's ridiculous. Okay, so the other event that I wanted to mention. Please tell me I can find it quickly because 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 I'm terrible at this today. You guys say something, Darren. Put some plugs, please. Uh, make sure you follow us on social media. Oh, it's like you just press the button and then <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> he's good at this. Yeah. Social media platforms on Instagram, it's P L S D E L T H I S on Twitter, the same handle. On Facebook is the Please Delete This Podcast. Also on YouTube is a the please leave this podcast make sure you check out our website www.plsdelthis.com where you can see all of our socials <clears throat> watch episodes of us um both um visually and i guess through audio mm. <laughs> I was like, <"Auditorially?"> <laughs> anyway <laughs> um <laughs> catch us on mondays on wbru 101.1 fm at one o'clock in the afternoon with dj franchise yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Am I off on Monday? I don't know, bro. <clears throat> I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you looking that up? Oh, you got it, Jen? Yep. Okay, good. So, our good friend Sarah is having her outspoken poetry show oh. on Tuesday, June 20th uh-huh. from 7 to 11 p.m. at Alchemy, 171 Chestnut Street, Providence, Rhode Island, 02903. You can get tickets online at outspokenpvd.com. This awesome. is the summer edition of the show. So pull up, follow Outspoken PVD. Should be a good old time. Um, if you guys are free Tuesday, we should go. Okay. Uh, Tuesday. Always the day before your new J, your new job. Oh, well, that's Car- Carter's graduating. <gasps> graduating what? from kindergarten. He's going to first grade. What? Oh. What? Uh, I mean, my heart is full. Oh. Sheesh. Um, so, yeah. Um, I might be available. Okay. I say all that to say. Um... Me and Darren got the same phone. <laughs> um, I have, haven't said it in a couple of weeks, but here I am again with, an, with a Haitian name of the day. Haitian name of the day, but I we'll start off with a little bit day. of a joke. Oh, a even joke. better. Let's, let's throw a joke in. Because Haitians are fun. <laughs> this guy named Steven oh boy. <laughs> got married and uh, he, had a, he had a son. He was very excited. He didn't know what to name him. Stevenson. Stevenson. That's the Haitian name <laughs> of the day. S T E V E N Son. S O N. Not hyphenated together. That is literally stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said to myself, I have another Haitian name of the day in a little bit. Is Stevenson's dad really named Steven? That's a good question. <laughs> and I and I wanted to listen. <laughs> I hit up a couple of my Haitian friends. I said, do you know any Stevensons? And nobody answered me because they thought I was an idiot. <laughs> but I will th- th- oh hold God. me to it next week. There's I'm going to, sc- Steven I'm gonna scour the globe for a Stevenson and ask him what his father's name is. I'm going to guess it's John. If it, <laughs> it's or, more than like Pierre Paul. Jean. <laughs> it's Jean Pierre Paul. <laughs> Name his son Stevenson. Darren is stupid. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> you guys continuously let me do this. <laughs> Steve on son. Oh my god! Because the first time I heard that name too, I was like, "Man, what a terrible, terrible <laughs> thing to name your child." Steve on son. This is Yo, not so like Vegas won a Stanley Cup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not done yet. <laughs> if I name Carter Darren son. <laughs> That actually doesn't sound so bad. (laughs) (laughs) Down, son. Down, son. I ain't talking about Beetlejuice. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm saying. You guys are small user listening to the whole thing. So so I'm the Beetlejuice of this? I'm done. I didn't say that. Call me up. I I want to go home. No, but I want to (laughs) go. You're clearly Robin. Oh, my God. You're clearly Robin. Robin. (laughs) No, you don't show them to these (laughs) Not these old bags. (laughs) Hell no. I just got the burp out of there. Oh, my God. (laughs) Not these old bags. I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, Lord. Have we all seen Above the Rim? No, I, I just listened to the soundtrack a million times. I have. I I can't. I can't tell you. Oh, you guys are terrible. Dwayne Martin, 
Oh, you guys are terrible. I'm sorry. I, to the I understand your youth. You don't really partake in this kind of stuff. <laughs> you? I was the album. Okay, the film? No. Oh, so never mind. This would be wasted on you people. <laughs> no, it's just a bad movie. <laughs> just because no, it was. It's a no. bad movie, but you're surprised. I watched it a whole lot when I was a kid, though, but I didn't realize that we were actually making fun of it, uh, parts of it. But it looks like a BET movie. The camera zooms are crazy. We gave Pac a lot of props as an actor, but... Yeah, all the money for that movie went into the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. ask most people, because sure. I've had this conversation recently, that most people are like, yeah, I've heard the soundtrack. Oh, come on. Most more people seen it. Y'all just bug it. Hey, but even in the beginning, you remember how it starts, the movie, Darren? No? No. Oh, uh, this... Do you? Ish? Mm. I hate y'all. <laughs> but, uh... I can't say spoiler alert. So, <laughs> so not a thirty-year-old movie spoiler. Alert. <laughs> in the beginning, in the beginning in of the movie, in the beginning, in the beginning, ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> in the beginning of the movie, hate you because I'm gonna have that in my head, Jim. He's trying to tell us a very thing, a very important thing. Nah. It's not that important. Uh, and you're sidetracking me with meninging. Oh my god. In the beginning of the movie, okay, they're playing basketball one on one, two dudes, and <laughs> Darren, Darren, yes, okay, Darren, Darren. We'll use you as an example. Thanks. So you're one of the guys, and then you're playing against your boy. He's better than you, but he's trying to you know hype you up or whatever. And then you start. I could jump higher than you, so you go up and slap the backboard to see who can who can you know hit it higher. Now here's the thing: this basketball hoop is on a roof. <laughs> a digi so one roof, of them fell off, and it's, it's dark at night, right? <laughs> so the one that's good. Does it, and another person like I steps back and gets a running start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he slaps the backboard, and he breaks. <laughs> this, is <your> uh, <laughs> this is how the movie starts. I said, This shit is so bad. And then the guy wakes up from a, 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 a dream, <laughs> sweating. Uh, and then the movie starts. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> No Maybe. problem. You should watch it again now. I'm gonna. Jen, you should watch it for the first time. Tell, tell Q you never saw Above the Rim. I already got enough strikes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any more. I just told you. I, love I believe that being a strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. We'll, we'll save you. He's mad funny. That's yeah, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> Bim, do you care about the strikes you have with, with your wife? What strikes I got? I don't know. With strikes in what regard? <clears throat> I do everything. <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here. You know when you up? I don't know if you be up. I'm up. <laughs> you be up? Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> you got to know when you up. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> when you get some leeway, be like, I ain't got to touch the laundry right now. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That kind of up. You know what I'm saying? I do it when I'm ready. Nah. I do it when I'm ready. Mm-hmm. You I'm up. I got a few of those. Like, when- when I think I'm up, I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> when I act like I'm up, it's like, you should reevaluate things before you continue. Now you got to know. You got to build a deck, and then you up for like a month, and then you're back to normal. But I'm up. Mm. I'm up I just right watched now. a clip of um, Pam Greer talking to Sherry Shepard, I believe, on a show. Ooh. And um, she was saying how she dates for 90 days. Like, she has... <laughs> she dates for a season. She's like, you know, you got to find the guy who likes going to the beach. And that's your summer guy. The guy who likes to go being in the ski lodge with the black people. That's she went to guy. And that's what she does. Pam Grier said that. Yeah. I like that sexy. And <laughs> <laughs> I know. She's all old and like, right? like giving a fuck. And she's still her. And she, she's still her. Oof. And then Sherry Shepard says something like, oh, I never did some, that or something like that. And she was just like, oh, no. Like her response to her was like, nah, this is bad bitch energy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you, ain't, you ain't this. Like <laughs> you ain't it wasn't this. on purpose, but that's what I got from her. I was like, oh, she just told her, not you. Because you got to know how to reply, right? Yeah. You can't be like, oh, I can't do that. We know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, we, when, we, when she talking, talking, her, just let her talk her stuff, That's yo. her. Yeah, don't. We ain't know. on her level. Yeah, this Pam Grigg, young men still would be like, ooh. Well, you ain't yeah. you ain't gotta go tip for tap. Right? Yeah, it's fine. Literally, <laughs> I ain't got no bay for a season. That's crazy. <laughs> She's like seventy years old, killing it. Bad bitch energy. Yeah, the only the dudes ain't the only ones getting their stuff off. They just loud about it. Pacino and them having babies. Huh. That's just crazy. Oh, Eighty three. Mm. <laughs> Oof. Like that's more than us twice, bro. It's a hmm. Uh-uh. To be dealing with, oh, bro, I need a, I need a test, man. Go to sleep. <laughs> the bed. All right. I have nothing. Oh. oh, did we ever talk about genuine all that all those stuff? I mean, the last time he is fell. he okay? Everything's still good. <laughs> His last fall. Excuse me. Yeah, since then everything's still good. <laughs> I don't know. Right. The last fall was pretty good though. <laughs> 
I mean, if you're gonna fall, that's that's like a cartoonish way to fall. <laughs> Honestly, that genuine shit just like stopped abruptly, uh, huh? Until he fell. until it happened again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not long ago. Like if a, if a month passed since I've seen that, I'd be surprised. And he wow. damn near pulled somebody down. Oh, with him. it was so comical. Yeah, not not he damn near. Like he <laughs> was like on one level and then decided he decided to jump down. I jump down. I and, <laughs> I. <laughs> I think three <laughs> times before I decide to jump. Hello. And, he, and the Hello. first, the first, my first England oh, is like, just do one foot at a time. Oh God! There's no need to jump. And there's no need to jump, you bro. Know, my, ge- my, I feel like my knees would like burst <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, I, if I were to jump from say here to there, right? But Jedwine says, "I got it," oh, and he jumps, God. but doesn't <laughs> land well. I don't, I don't even know why he was jumping in that particular spot. He didn't have to. He didn't have to jump there. There's during a performance, of course. The translator is like right God. here, and it's like I almost want to say he put his hand on the translator's shoulders and then jumped down and then fell. And that's he had to because that's how he grabbed him, and it fell backwards like a fucking cartoon. Because <laughs> you first you see him and then you don't. The last thing you see is his feet go like like this, like oh like God. straight. And it's like, yo. <laughs> and he disappears. <laughs> the translator, poor translator, can't even focus anymore. <coughs> because Genuine is behind him with his legs in the air like, oh my God. like a freaking crab. Oh, <clears throat> Jen, I'm surprised you missed that one. I'm watching it now. <laughs> oh, man. Holy. Holy it's like, incident. why did you do, why did, of all things to do? <clears throat> yeah, the, the, the sign language guy did not fall. No, oh, he, we will wobble, but he didn't fall down. <laughs> Oh Lord! We were always so funny because I. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like why? Why? Yeah. Why? Oh, that's, why that's, there? That's, that's a long fall. <laughs> that, is, that is a long jump, bro. He jumped from, like the top of a speaker. Like and he loaded you, up too. So <laughs> just gently just wind up. <laughs> so that if if I were to attempt that, you got to put your hand on the stage and then jump. And then, down. So distribute your weight. <laughs> I am not jumping off of anything. Oh, that's that crazy. It was a God. crazy jump. Can you show me again? I'm talking. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like a stupid cartoon. Yeah, so you know the crazy part is I googled genuine fall, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the first thing that came up. So if you want to see it, just go to Google, put genuine fall. That's it. Spell it right, genuine. Uh, and you know why it happened and it all disappeared uh, because he's done this yeah. too many times now. It's not funny. Uh, <laughs> so, so it's Ooh. the first video. But it's a YouTube video. But the video is three minutes and fifty six seconds. Which means but they know that when you hit play, that's what you came for. So it plays that portion, and that's it. What I've been showing you is actually a four minute clip. And Google says, "No, that's what you came here for." You got it. That's crazy. Uh-uh. So yeah, genuine fall on the Google. You will see it. Wow. I heard a comedian say, "If you do something on camera <clears throat> enough times, that's what that's just what you do. That's what I know you <laughs> <as> now." Yeah. <laughs> And it's true. Hell yeah. If Biden falls tomorrow. Oh my God. We wouldn't be all that surprised. We said a mad time. Stop telling him, letting him do stuff. What happens he wants, if he hurts himself? He wants to ride a bike. Let him ride a bike. No, man. What if he didn't he fall walking again? I feel like like with a plate of food or something. <laughs> <laughs> like I felt I feel like I saw a picture and he felt his hat was off. The like. president holding a plate of food. <laughs> and where's it going, right? Where's it going? Maybe they wouldn't play it. It's like it's like a paper plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the commercials right here. Oh. <laughs> you should have got the you should have spent a little you more. Should have spent the money. You should have got a little, <laughs> little, little president better. approved. Oh um, god. I seen him with one clip. I didn't know this happened to him, but it looked like he was walking up like the oh my god. the staircase to the, the plane. Oh yeah. It yeah. felt like four times. Oh, yeah. I said, Oh my god. <laughs> After, after, I'm a, I love a good fall, nah. but after like fall number three, I'm just like, okay, okay, like he's old, yo, he can't be falling. He's mad old. He's eighty something, right? I think he's almost eighty. I don't he's know. Too old, yo. They said today on the news they were talking about Trump getting indicted, and at the end they're like, <laughs> and today's his birthday. <laughs> Why are they so messy? <laughs> they so messy. <laughs> oh, the news is so messy. I watch that shit every day if I can. <laughs> it's always something. You yeah. heard about that highway? Ooh, highway. In, in, in Philly? Philly? Oh, they co- don't say it collapsed. I think uh, you got it? You know. I, I mean, so there was a truck driver, and he was going on an off-ramp, and then the truck um, fell, and then it, like, burst into flames or something. Whoa. And so the highway, I think, w- goes over where he was. So then the highway, like... I mean, I mean, there was nobody on it, I don't think. Okay, but the okay. highway, there's a chunk of 95 gone in Philly. Yeah. Half of the... 
highway is. They like, said it's gonna take months. Yo, because how do you? That's a bridge. It's <clears> not <throat> like you could just. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like a, it's an overpass. The, overpass. The detour is like twenty three miles, <laughs> <laughs> and then like a lot of trucks take like ninety five north and south. So if you got something that's coming, Ooh, like really? I I had some parts that I was waiting for FedEx said it would be here by two today, and I'm like, no, it's not. Mm. Because <laughs> it was in Virginia yesterday. I'm like, it's got to <laughs> <laughs> go through 95. It ain't coming here today. That is scary. The driver okay? No. Oh. Oh, he wasn't? No. Hey, uh, oh, well, they said they haven't <clears throat> located the driver, and then they recovered a body from the truck. I'm like, come they, on. Yeah, they're doing that. Uh, come on. Yeah. Come oh, on. Damn. That's a tough job, man. Yeah. I can never. No, for, well, I know you. Yeah, yeah. you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm like a laptop nowadays. Save, <laughs> save us all. <clears throat> Darren, I've noticed this since last week. What's with the influx of Haitian flags that are Bim, Bim did that. <laughs> I feel like there was enough representation of our fair island. Now you're covering up the Ghanaian I was going to say, now we need a Nigerian thing. Uh, now we oh, got It's right here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm here, and that's there. That's there. No, that's different. there. Yeah, the no bags, word. Jen. I'm going to find a, a Nigerian chicken head. Wow. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah. What's <laughs> Wow. It won't be that white I chicken. I don't know how to take that. It'll, it'll be some hard chicken in. There we go. That's scary. Hard chicken? Yeah, that's scary. No, just, just, just hard chicken. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, it. that's it. Clara said the other day, like, oh, why do they like this? I was like, you, y'all. <laughs> you. Y'all. <laughs> Not they. Elm them too. Growing up, it was just like a thing. Now that I understand, understand food more, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> Maybe that's why we have it? strong teeth. <laughs> it's like, like yeah, that's jerky. It. Is it chicken is it like, jerky? You guys don't have another way to make it? Oh no, they make it that ways. There'll be chicken it was stew, on fried chicken. That, it was that's on legit on purpose. You buy the chick. There's a specific chicken that you buy for that. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't you be like one it. of your joints, and then they like starve it <laughs> or something. Yeah. Wow, not it's, one of your joints. R.I.P. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Respect. We we, Respect. See, we see the other chicken today, man. <laughs> <laughs> The y'all, boys y'all are got so, visitation? The boys are so <laughs> it's so annoying sometimes. <laughs> Babe, you got visitation to go see the last chicken, bro. <laughs> no, I am done. Yeah, I was going to offer you guys some eggs, but forget it. Forget no, it. Nah, keep them. This is funny. Oh, The boys, boy. the Kai, especially Kaiser, have been like, can we go see Ripple? Can we go see Ripple? And you don't want to tell him where Ripple's but, at. But though. listen, because he was with us, we went to go drop him, literally two oh. houses down the street. So I'm like, yeah, you got to talk to your mother. Like, that's not me. I don't know. Yo, that. if you don't do your show, I'm going <laughs> to sell the idea to somebody. This is part of hey, the you can Hey, you can sell the idea as long as you give us a, I mean... <laughs> I don't even feel like I deserve a check at this point. <laughs> I'm ripping off your life. <laughs> oh, my, my man goodness. said, well, he was there. We dropped him off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just lie to him and tell him that he was going somewhere afterwards. <laughs> We're dropping him off here so they can take him somewhere else. <laughs> oh, my I don't know. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh. You're right. So he's been bothering for the past like, couple of weeks. And now you have to. And so today, like, yeah. we took the dog for a long walk. Uh. We got back, and he's like, we didn't go see Ripple. Uh. I'm like, come on, Kai. Like... I want to see Ripple. So like, okay, he like cool. cares, so he'll make oh, it a he, thing. Oh, he cares. <laughs> he, he, yeah. So we had to walk over there to go see Ripple. <clears throat> is Ripple in the house or is Ripple outside? No, she's outside with the other chick. So Did Ripple give a damn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. He's an adult. I don't speak, I don't speak chicken. <laughs> she she could have been happy to see us as far as I'm concerned. Um, <clears throat> yeah. 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 Or... <laughs> you gave me away. <laughs> I thought we had a thing. How dare you come back to look at me and leave again? <laughs> First, my sisters get killed when you give me away. <laughs> and they come wave at me in my face. <laughs> you killed my family. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't protect us. Where were you? Where were you? Oh, Lord. So you oh. said with the other chickens, this, these people have... I don't mean to put them on blast. <laughs> you know, Warwick. But. They have other chickens. They have four or five chickens. And they had room for one more. Oh, so r- ripple like mm. this is where I want to be. <laughs> 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 Not they had room for one more. Hey, boy. What does room for one more mean? Bro, I don't, man. <laughs> 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 if you don't just put on them chickens. <laughs> this guy's crazy. I didn't say it, Your life, <laughs> Your life is different. Your life is different. What do you want me to tell you? Your I life, I just I don't know. It's fire, but you know, yo. it's different. <laughs> he said they had room for one uh, more. Yo, this is what they said. So naturally, you know, we... <laughs> Oh, word. Oh, boy. We, look, we just so happen we look for boarding for this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Mm. How long would it take me to offload a chicken if I just needed to get rid of it? 
<laughs> He's like, yeah, it's just <laughs> they, they got a few already. <laughs> Yeah, oh, ask around. Lord. It's all the rage now. Ask it's, around, man. Eh? Ask around. <laughs> ask around. When you got that circle of friends. Yep. <laughs> say chicken. They think I'm talking about drugs, yeah, right? people. That- <laughs> <Chicken>. <laughs> I can see you like meeting somebody, and you're like, here it is, and they're like, I thought this was cocaine. Like, no. No, 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 no. it's a chicken. It's a chicken. <laughs> yeah, look, you said you had the white feathers. He has the white feathers. This is not cocaine. Yeah. No, it's literally white feathers. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I said it's a cock, not coke. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> Good job. So, um, so many questions. I don't even know where to start. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking if I said to all of the people that I've ever met, hey, I've got a chicken. You interested? I won't get one, yes. Darren probably had to ask top three people. I didn't ask a soul. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the wife. I was perfectly content having one chicken. <clears throat> I said this one chicken is fine with me. You not bothering me, I'm not bothering him. Her. <laughs> Day. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that is, is I should have said that. That was that was uncalled for. Uh, There's no reason. Why are you getting riled up? <laughs> <laughs> it was no reason for that. <clears throat> oh my god. That's so funny though. <laughs> you got the best life. <laughs> now he just got a coop with no chicken. <laughs> Yep. Is there a plan? Yep. They had a timeout room for uh, the kids. <laughs> you spent so much time and money putting that thing together. You have to repurpose it. The, the, the wife wants to get another batch at some point later in the year. All right. I don't see, how. I don't see yeah. how. That's cool. Uh, you got the whatever you want. <laughs> if you love it, the coop. <laughs> love it, the coop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I, I got none. <coughs> I'm ready to eat again. Um... Yeah, I think I'm down for that idea too. Yeah, mad food. Yo, you yes. ate like a baby. Yeah, it was just <laughs> enough to hold me over, but not enough to make me full and not be able to talk. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. That's, oh, well that's, done. I love when I'm able to stop before mm-hmm. I get to like uh, you're gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is perfect. So I went cool. in with that intent the other day, boy. Mm. Oh, we like, like to eat till you couldn't eat no more. Ah, I just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the blaze. Ooh, so yeah, what's the so blaze? Uh, the uh, Jamaican. Let me explain on uh, Eddie. Run your way. Flames. Flames. I'm tripping. <laughs> fire still. More fire. Oh, uh, it means you blaze, blaze. That's what it is. Blaze a piece of place. Don't mind me. <laughs> flames. Went to flames. Uh, oxtail, mm. rice, cocoa oh, bread. Oh, man, you were looking. Uh, oh, cocoa uh, bread beef too. Beef patty. Oh, boy. I made plantain at home. It's because I wasn't going to pay for it. I, and I just went. I said, I'm full. Mm-mm. <laughs> I just kept going and then laid. I don't want to move. Yeah, didn't move. Best. Oh, so good. So good. And the food's on point. Not as expensive as I remember it being. It was good. I still haven't been to Brahmin's Flames. The, oh, you, oh you, the Massachusetts well, you, Flames you are. Yeah, usually I the... To, I, I feel like usually the hole in the wall places, not that that's what it is, but they don't change price very quickly or easily. Yeah. Oh, is that one yours? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> That'll do it for this week's episode. Uh, <laughs> take care of yourself. If, uh, if you're going out this weekend, have fun. Be safe and follow those traffic laws. Uh, uh, if you're <laughs> watching, watch your properties. <laughs> He's doing airplane voice. He's doing. Uh, why do they do that? <laughs> uh, He's tired, uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just woke up from a nap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a perfectly long. Now I'm gonna be afraid when they do that damn thing. Like, oh oh man, boy. <laughs>